Hello, welcome students to my YouTube channel. Today, in this video, I am going to discuss uh, the question answers of chapter 7, that is changing trends in occupation. And this is the part 2 video. So, please uh, get ready. And if till now you have not subscribed my channel, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. As you can, B Sky, B Kumar. Get ready. Question number one. How has mechanization brought a change in agriculture sector? Answer. Uh, the use of machines in agriculture brought a great change in occupation. A single machines, a machine like harvester, tractor, uh, sprayer, etc. It replaced the labor of many workers. Second, so many farm laborers lost their as a teacher, so many farm laborers lost their source of income. Third point, however, machines and electricity in villages also uh, it created some new occupations like tube well diggers, tractor drivers, salesmen, mechanics, etc. Question number two, define white revolution. And how did it bring changes in dairy farming? A dairy, a white revolution kya hai? And ye dora kya kya changes aya dairy farming mein. Okay? Uh, answer. The white revolution is the revolution in the field of milk production. Dr. Bargis Korean was the father of white revolution. It was related to milk production, processing, marketing, export, and distribution of byproduct of milk byproduct what are the byproducts so when say byproduct mean the things that are made uh, from milk uh, like butter cheese ghee uh, milk powder baby food ice cream condensed milk yogurt curd so all these things okay and then in the earlier time the quality of animals and their feet were not very good as a result the production of milk was very low but after this white revolution, the cooperatives worked so efficiently that India, a milk deficient country, became the largest producer of milk in the world. Okay, this white revolution milk is related. Hai. Dr. Bargis Korean is known as the uh, father of white revolution. Oh, he start kiye the, okay? Iska byproduct, jo bhi hai, usko processing, marketing, ye sab karna inka kaam tha. Uh, then it is the all that and you have to remember and write the answer question number three explain changing trends in occupation in the present times uh, with examples so uh, answer the occupation scenario has been completely changed in the present time so occupation scenario tha, oh, bo, change ho gaya, completely change ho gaya. Jo old scenario tha, usse bo, change ho gaya. Uh, for example, just say many new occupations related to industries, trade, uh, transport, communication, education, health services, passion, insurance, banking, etc. and have become popular in cities. For example, the professions related to all these are scientists, engineers, doctors, teachers, uh, designers, architects, filmmakers and marketing experts. The demand for non-professionals like tailors, carpenters, plumbers is also increasing. And the third point is and there are many women engineers, doctors, teachers, a pilot in the cities and also many rural women, women are working in spice, matchbox and agarbatti factories. Okay, write down the answer. Question number four. What is dignity of labor? And give an example. Dignity of labor kya hota hai? Okay. So all types of work. Uh, it means the jobs are necessary in the society. Every day we depend on so many uh, people for our daily needs. So we must respect all of them. No work is superior or inferior. Work is work. And the work itself is dignity and this is the dignity of labor 
and it is absolutely wrong to consider uh, any work as good or bad okay and this is all about this dignity of labor and for example on a doctor has seizures and blades and needles with him but he has done a barber for hair cuttings and also he has to depend on the green grocers fruit sellers tailors plumbers electricians and so many people as yes. nobody is perfect in all works okay then the last one five question number five define gender discrimination in what ways do the women uh, suffer due to gender discrimination gender discrimination is the gender inequality inequality and it is a wrong attitude of men uh, against women girls and women are not given equal opportunities in, <coughs> in the field of education careers and political system and this unequal treatment and what is uh, gender discrimination this unequal treatment to women is known as gender discrimination okay the uh, and what are the results and they suffer due to and how do they suffer so this is the last one the women suffer like this the work of women is not respected second they are not given the same wages that are given to men third they do not get equal share in occupation education health facilities or in polit uh, parliament Okay, so all these are the points. Write down the answer. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel for new updates.